When we talk about entry-level smartphones, there's always a general impression of low quality and limited features. Even me, I always have an assumption that something is being compromised to get to the level of low price with good specs and features on paper. Well, today, meron akong share sa inyo na good find, at least for me, and I think it's worth sharing. This is TCL L10 Plus. about TCL. We all know that TCL specialized in producing television. They started in 1981. They have global presence in 160 plus countries. They have a total of 22 manufacturing facilities, 28 research and development centers, and two years ago, in 2019, TCL ranked number two in global TV market in terms of sales volume. Medyo impressive yung numbers and well-established na sa TV market. But the good question is, can the TCL L10 Plus be able to keep up in the competition? Let's find out. Here is the main spec sheet for the TCL L10 Plus. This phone has 6 inches screen. On the top center is a dew drop selfie camera. Plastic back casing which is common naman sa mga entry level smartphone. Meron siyang advantage on the side kasi mas nagiging lighter yung phone. Aside from that, the back casing has a rough texture. I like it better with this kind of texture especially kapag the, more than uh, one phone yung gamit mo. Kapag nasa pocket mo siya, it's easily to identify which is which. The volume rocker is located on the right side and beside that is the power button. Flip it to the left, you will see the SIM tray with a dedicated SD card slot. There's another button here which is very rare now to see. This is the smart key button. Quite nice for an entry-level smartphone. I remember in the past, some brands like Sony Xperia, as, as far as I remember, meron siyang smart key button on their lineup. The charging port is micro USB, not type C, located at the bottom with dual speaker on both sides. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack located on the top, which is always good. When it comes to camera, TCL L10 Plus has three rear cameras. The main sensor, 13 megapixel siya, 5 megapixel for ultra wide, and 2 megapixel for depth. Meron din siyang built in single tone flash. The front or selfie camera naman, has 5 megapixel sensor. Pero ang maganda rito, meron siyang selfie shot enhancement. First enhancement is smooth, probably to smoothen the face of the subject. Yung second is brighten, increase more light in case nasa low light situation ka or environment. Enlarge, this will enlarge the eyes of the subject. And yung slim mode, this will enhance the cheek of the subject. Nakapartition siya into four different modes. At least may option tayo kung ano yung gusto nating lagyan ng effect sa photo natin. This feature is not new but at this price point, 4,990 SRP, it's a plus already. Here are some of the sample shots that I took using the rear main camera and the selfie camera.
about other features. Meron siyang fingerprint sensor scanner located at the back. Based on the actual test, it took 2 seconds to unlock. Meron din namang smart feature like the raise to wake feature that you can set depending on how you will use it regularly. There are also other optional security features that you can set like face unlock, smart unlock, Here are additional features that you can set. Multiple users in case meron kang anak na pinapagamit mo yung phone mo or meron kang kapatid na nangihiram ng phone mo every now and then. Uh, meron din siyang eye comfort mode and adaptive brightness screen to relax your eyes for lengthy use. Android version niya is 10.0. Wala siyang heavy UI, just stock Android. Of course, merong pros and cons to having a user interface. Pero having a stock Android provides a more optimized experience, especially for entry-level devices. TCL L10 Plus, meron lang siyang 3GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, with an expandable micro SD up to 128GB. For me, hindi ko siya nire-recommend as gaming phone, especially for COD or Mobile Legends. Number one reason, yung memory profile niya hindi enough to guarantee ng smooth gaming experience. Pangalawang reason, refresh rate. Not graded for heavy graphics games. Pwede siguro yung mga casual games. Siguro crossword, uh, puzzles, and siguro among us pwedeng tumakbo for this kind of entry-level phone. TCL L10 Plus has 4,000 mAh battery. On average use, kaya niya mag-last ng buong araw. Of course, ilest mo doon yung playing games and watching videos. Different story on when it comes to battery endurance. Charging time from 0 to 100 will take around 4 hours to and 30 minutes based on my test. Well, for me, if you want a phone with stock Android, a decent camera with this price point of less than 5,000 pesos and other value-added features, go for TCL L10 Plus. There's a couple of upsides though. The camera is okay, software kasi stock Android siya, and the battery on an average. The major downside, however, is the memory profile. Reasonable and quite decent for the price of a branded smartphone. The current SRP of TCL L10 Plus is 4,990. This is recommended for someone who is looking for a secondary phone or first time to own a branded phone on a budget. You can check 8 Mobile Tech Shopee in the description below. Visit their Shopee store. Meron silang in-offer na free TCL Bluetooth headset as a freebie. For TCL brand naman, smartphone market especially dito sa Pilipinas, the competition is very very tight. Lalong lalo na sa entry level smartphone. Realme is aggressive, Xiaomi is aggressive, Huawei and Samsung are all finding ways in getting or retaining new customers. Siguro a little push pa in marketing promotion or retail campaign para mas marinig pa tayo ng target customers natin. Alright, that's it for now. Check the TCL L10 Plus. I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Saglit lang nakalimutan ko. Ang meaning pala ng TCL is Telephone Communication Limited. In case you're wondering, kung gusto nyo lang naman malaman. See ya!